So I'm making this video um, about the classwork that we were starting today. This one over here, Unit 3, um, Classwork 4, Writing Equations. Um, and so this was writing the equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Um, I had gone through part of it with you guys in class. I was writing it on my tablet. Um, a lot of us are probably typing it on our computer. So I'm just going to run through because some of us might have uh, fallen behind typing it versus writing it out um, on a phone or on a tablet. So, uh, and I'm going to go through the ones that we didn't cover. So let me just uh, switch over to um, another screen so I'm not writing on the original. Okay, so this is um, the document. And so what I'm going to be doing is, again, I'm going to be typing. And um, if you want a text box, this is your text box. And um, sometimes you might want to actually do some math types. I'll show us how to do that within a text box. First thing I want to do in this problem is to actually identify my slope. And my slope is going to be the number in front of our x. So I'm looking at the number in front of our x, which it doesn't look like there's a number, but really it is the number one. Okay, so let me just move this. Okay, so m, okay, here I'll do this original slope um, or original m for slope equals one. And my parallel slope or m is going to also equal one because they are the same. So now if I'm going to write an equation, and I'm just going to practice doing the, the math uh, text. So I'm going to come up here to this f of x and click on it. And now in that text box, I've got my equation. So I can know it's going to be y equal 1x plus b. And I need to figure out what my b is. So in order to figure out my b, I'm going to be putting in my uh, 0.2 comma 2. So I just arrowed out of the text box, I mean out of the equation box, into the text. So here I'm in the equation, I arrow out, and now I can hit return, and it's going to keep everything lined up nice. Okay, and so now I'm going to be using the point 2 comma 2, and I'm just going to come over here to where the little pi symbol is up here at the top, and I'm just going to get an arrow because uh, you don't need to, but I'm going to be substituting this in. So I'm putting the y, which is 2, in for y, equal 1 times the x, which is 2, um, plus b. And now I'm going to be working this out. And so I'm just going to arrow out of this and get my text box again, or my equation box. So I'm going to get 2 is equal to 2 plus b. I am going to be subtracting two from both sides, okay? Um, if you want to, I'm going to minus two here, and I'm going to minus two here. And when I do, I'm going to end up getting b, sorry, zero is equal to b. So that means my equation is going to be y equal 1x, or you can just write x, plus 0. And if you want to clean that up, um, again, that's going to be y equal x. I don't need the 1 in front of it. Um, and I don't need the plus 0. And that's going to be my equation. Now, I just clicked out of that. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to fill it so that you can kind of see my answer. Okay, so now I'm going to come over to the next problem. And again, I'm looking for my slope here. So if you're looking at this equation, I'm just going to get a little equation um, box. Let me make this a little smaller. So if I am looking at this y equal 3, this is really y equals 0x plus 3. That's really what it is. I don't have an x term, so there's a 0 in front of it. So what that means is my slope is 0. So my original slope, or m, is equal to 0. And my parallel, m, is also equal to 0. 
So now I am going to get my um, little equation text box. And I know that this is going to be y equal 0x plus b. And I'm going to be putting in my point, which is 4 comma 3. So I'm going to be putting in 4 comma 3. And again, I'm going to come here to a little pi. And I'm going to get the arrow. Okay, and so that means if I put in 4 for my x and 3 for my y, I'm going to get 3 is equal to 0 times 4 plus b. And when I do that math, I am going to get 3 is equal to, oops, 3 is equal to, 0 plus b. So b is going to be equal to 3. Okay, b is going to be equal to 3, which means that if I'm going to write the equation y is equal to 0x plus 3, and 0x is really the same as um, just this being 0 plus 3, so y is equal to 0. Okay, I'm just going to come and get my arrow. So I am going to be typing in y equal 3. And I'm just going to get out of that text box or an equation box, come up here and highlight it. Now, you might notice that this equation is actually the same as this. That just happened in this case because this happened to be a horizontal line um, that had to go through 4 comma 3 where your y is 3, so it ended up being the same equation. That doesn't always happen. Okay. Um, so now let's look at uh, number 3. Again, parallel. So I'm going to be looking at the number in front of my x, which is this 3. And so now I'm going to um, get my text box. Uh, I know my original slope, and I'm just going to fill right now so you can see it. OK, so my original slope, or m, is equal to 3. And that means my parallel slope, or m, is also equal to 3, because they have to be the same. I'm going to come from my little equation box. So I know it's going to be y is equal to 3x plus some b. Don't know what that b is. And so I'm going to be putting in the point 2 comma negative 4 into this. And so when I put in 2 comma negative 4, I'm going to be getting y, instead of y, my y is going to be negative 4 is equal to 3 times 2. Oh, sorry, I forgot my 3. 3 times 2 plus b. And so when I do that math, I'm going to have negative 4 is equal to, and when I do my 3 times 2, I get 6 plus b. I am going to be minusing 6 from both sides, so I'm going to be minusing 6 from here. I'm going to be minusing 6 from here. And so when I minus 6 from both sides, I'm going to end up getting negative 10 is equal to b. And that means that my equation is going to be y equal, again, my slope here was 3, so 3x minus my b, which is 10, okay, and negative 10. And that's my equation. For number 4, For this one, I know, let me just get my filler. I know my original slope is going to be negative 2 fifths. OK, um, I'm going to come and grab my fraction or my, my um, equation. So I can just do negative 2 backslash 5. OK, so that means that my parallel 
is also equal to that. Okay, so it's also equal to a negative two this because parallel slopes are equal. Let's move this up a little. Okay, so now um, I'm going to be putting in the point um, five comma negative one. And so when I put that in, I am going to have negative one for my y. Well, here, let me write my equation first. Sorry, y is equal to negative two over five x plus b. Okay, that's what I'm gonna be substituting into, okay. And, um, I'm going to be putting into this five comma negative one. And so when I do that math, I'm going to be putting in a negative one. Let me grab my equation. A negative one is equal to uh, negative two over five times five. Now, if you want to think about this five, this five is really five over one. Okay. So when you're, you're doing that, the five is really multiplying with the top. Okay. So I get negative 10 over five or negative two when I do that math. Okay. So again, I'm going to have negative one equal. And when I multiply this together, again, I got negative 10 over five or negative two plus B. I am going to add two to both sides. So I'm going to add two here. I'm going to add two here. And when I do that, I'm going to end up getting one is equal to B. So my equation my equation is going to be y equal negative two over five x plus one. And that's my equation. Now I'm going to make this a little smaller. I'm going to do control A. Um, make this a little smaller. So I can see that problem. Okay. Okay, now the next ones are all perpendicular. So perpendicular means I'm going to be doing the um, negative reciprocal of the original slope. So if I'm looking at this one, my original slope is a one eighth, okay? So original M is equal to, and I'm gonna get my uh, little math equation box so I can do a fraction, one eighth. I get out of this. And that means my perpendicular slope and I think I we probably have a perpendicular symbol here. So I'm going to come up to my f of x. I'm going to come up to, and so I get my little equation box. I'm going to come here, and let's see if we have, and I'm just going to type in per, and there it is, perpendicular. We've got it right here. So um, my perpendicular slope or my perpendicular m is equal to, um, I need to flip this and I'm going to change the sign. So since the original one is a positive, this is going to be a negative. And then when I flip one over eight, I get eight over one. So it's going to be a negative eight over one or just plain old negative eight. That's going to be my slope. So now um, I'm going to be putting in the point 16 comma negative five. into y equal 
negative 8x plus b, okay? So that's what I'm gonna be substituting it into to try to find my b. And so I'm gonna get negative five equals um, negative eight times 16 plus b. And that's gonna give me negative five equals, and I'm gonna put in, let's say, negative eight times 16 gives me a negative 128. So that's a negative 128 plus b, which means that my, oh, here, let me get out of this. Um, I'm gonna just go, uh, I'm going to try to get rid of this 128. So I'm going to be adding 128 here. I'm going to be adding, adding 128 here. So I'm adding 128 to both sides. And when I do that, I'm going to end up getting negative, um, sorry, positive 123 is equal to B. And that means my final equation is going to be y equal negative 8x plus 123. I'm going to arrow out and I'm going to come and get my fill. Sorry, I should have filled right away. And that's your equation. Um, the next one here, whoops, number six. Um, again, I need to find my slope. And when I'm looking at the slope, this is really a 1x, okay? So here, my original m is equal to 1, which really is, so let me just write as a fraction, so when I flip it, I understand that that's 1 over 1. That's really what 1 is. So that means my perpendicular slope, and I'm going to come back up here, get my little equation box and right here here's my perpendicular since I used it it's right there um, my perpendicular slope is going to be the negative reciprocal so it's going to be negative and then I'm going to be flipping one over one which is going to be a negative one so that's going to be my slope okay let me just fill this okay so now I'm going to be using the point um, three comma negative one, and I'm going to be putting that into um, y equal, and again my new slope is negative one x plus b. I'm trying to find my b, and so when I do that math, I'm going to get negative one equals negative one times my x, which is three, plus b. And I get negative one equals negative three plus b. I'm gonna be adding three to both sides. So I'm adding three to both sides. And when I do that, I'm going to get for my B, 2 is equal to B. Okay, I'm going to get 2 is equal to B. And that means that my final equation is going to be, let me get back in the text, in the equation box, Y equal, um, again, negative 1X plus 2, or if I want to clean that up, um, that's going to be y equal negative x plus 2, because negative 1 times x is just the negative x. Um, the last ones here, okay, 
identify my slope. Here's my slope. It's five thirds. That's my original slope. So original m is equal to, and I'm going to get my little equation box. So I can do as a fraction five thirds. Whoops, too many fractions. Five thirds. And um, that means my. I grab another one of these. Perpendicular, perpendicular slope is going to be equal to the negative reciprocal. So since that's positive, this is going to be negative. Reciprocal of five thirds is three fifths. So it's going to be a negative three fifths. Okay, so I am going to be using the point uh, negative five comma five. And I'm going to be plugging that into my equation, which will be y equal. And again, I'm using that new slope, negative 3 over 5. Arrow out of that, x plus b. And if you want to line things up differently, you can kind of space over here if you want, and then grab your f of x. Um, and I'm going to put 5 equal negative 3 over 5 times my x, which is a negative 5, plus b. And so that's going to be 5 equal. And again, this negative 5 is really a negative 5 over 1, if you want to think about it that way. So when I'm multiplying this, a negative times a negative is a positive. I'm going to get a 15 over 5, which ends up being a 3. So that's 3 plus b. Out of my equation. Okay, so 5 equals, and again, that's going to give me 3 plus b. Which means when I minus 3, um, each side, and if I want, I can take this and do control U, so I get like an underline underneath if you want, but then I have to make sure I get out of that. Um, and I'm going to end up getting positive 2 is equal to B. Let me move it up a little. So my equation is going to end up being y equal, again, my slope was a negative 3 over 5, and then x plus 2. And that's our equation. Last one here. Um, let me just move this over. Move it up a little bit. Okay, so for this one, uh, my original slope is this negative one half. So my original m is going to equal, let me move it so we can see the problem, sorry. Um, I'm going to grab my equation box, negative one half, which means that my perpendicular, so I'm going to come back here to grab my perpendicular. My perpendicular slope is going to be opposite sign, so it's going to be positive. And the reciprocal of 1 over 2 is 2 over 1, or just 2. Let me get my fill. So now I'm going to be putting in the point 2 comma 4. Okay, and I'm going to be putting that into the equation y equal 2x plus b. And so when I put that in, I'm going to put 4 in for my y equal 2, and in for my x, I'm going to put 2 plus b. And that's going to give me 4 equal. 4 plus b 
I am going to minus four on both sides. And when I do on this side, I'm going to get zero is equal to B. And that means my equation is going to be Y equal 2X plus zero if you want. Move this up a little. Or you don't have to put the plus zero. You can just write Y equal to X. Okay, and so that is how to find parallel and perpendicular along with kind of how you can type um, on the cami, so kind of the two lessons in one. Um, hopefully everyone gets this assignment turned in. Your homework is going to be the same idea, more parallel and perpendicular lines.